Let's see if Alex can find the value bet. 10,000. Yeah, she found it all right. It was like watching her play chess. She made her move like she was playing Blitz. She slapped that clock down on him. Okay, Andrea, if you're watching this, if I win this one, I promise I will get you a Tesla this time. <laughs> These people are so pumped. They're so excited to play. So Ramon, the defending champ on the main stage, hand number two of the PSPC. He is raising with the snowmen's and Alexandra Botez has pocket fives in the big blind and it looks like we're gonna see our first flop of the day. 788 players registered so far, but that number going up literally every few seconds. And we have got a king, queen, 10 flop. Not a super exciting board for either of these players. I would have to give the advantage to Ramon, both experience-wise and hand-wise. <laughs> He's winning right now. It looks like Alex is going to lead at this. All right, I was wrong, and I am happy to be wrong. First blood amateurs. Are you excited to see him flop a flush draw? I, this is the most exciting flush draw I've ever seen in my <laughs> life now. However, it is top pair for Alexandra Botez, who called out of the small blind. Let's uh, name check Henry Strasser there. He's folded. So Josef Spulba is calling this lead from Botez. 1,000 apiece. We go to the turn, which is the nine of spades giving Alexandra two pair. But. But. <laughs> More outs for Spulber. Yes, has the open-ended straight draw in addition to the flush draw. Wow, really interesting to see she slows down when she makes the two pair. I think this is definitely an opportunity for Yosef to go ahead and fire. 6,000. Oh, the check raise. Wow, he <laughs> falls into her trap. 2,300 is the bet. Now, I'll just point out, guys, obviously, Alexandra plays a lot of chess. That check raise was like a was like a time it was like a clock, right? She had to slap the clock. <laughs> so she's made it 6k. I mean, you have to call yeah, here. You've got calling. decent equity, and we go to the river. Come on, buddy. <laughs> it is oh! a brick. The three of hearts. Let's see if Alex can find the value bet. Ten thousand. Yeah, she found it all right. Wow, two thirds pot. And with busted draws, Josef is going to have to fold this. <clears throat> and that's two in a row for Alexandra Botez. A raise from David K. And instantly re-raised by Alexandra wow. Botez in the big blind. She's three bet to 2K with Queen Jack of Diamonds. Not a typical three betting hand. Alec, most of Alex's experience comes from cash games, by the way, where this is a little bit more orthodox. Unorthodox? I don't know what that word is. Well, she has flopped a gut shot and a backdoor diamond draw. And yeah, if anything about her past behavior <laughs> is any indication, she's pretty aggro and is going to win this pot. Wow, that's 5K. <laughs> Huge continuation. 800. Hello. Aces for Botez. Connor. What is a limp? All right, limping aces. O'Connor makes it 800K with the King Jack suited. Once again, Botez playing this table like a fiddle. She's gonna have a bunch of dead bunny to pick up here. I think uh, our boy David K there, you see him patched up. Fellow team pro is like, I'm gonna make this look good, but uh, I think I know what hand this is. <laughs> The problem with playing aces like this is you do really turn your hand kind of face up. It's, I've been in this situation before. Like, you're just like, I know you have aces. You're giving me such an insane price. You call, you flop top pair. You're like, I know I'm still up against aces. And you <laughs> yeah, just oh. nice that well eighth pot, eighth pot, eighth pot worse. the whole way. And you feel like a ding dong. Botez goes for the 3x steal with the three deuce off. Strasser, it looks like he's going to, to going to defend here. Sorry, guys. Going to the flop. That flop is ace, 10, three. So a pair of threes for Botez. Now, if this is anything like what we've seen so far, she likes to see bet and she likes to see bet big, James, like really oversized. But now that she's connected, I like the check. I actually do like this line. And a quick check from the king high as well. On the turn, the five of spades changes nothing, but does give Botez the gut shot. And this might be the time to do it. 2.1 in the middle bets 1,500. There it is. 
and I a call. Oh, it's a fold, excuse me. It's called the dirty diaper. And I no. <laughs> the dirty diaper. And the lady next diaper. to me said, always play the dirty diaper, and I said, okay. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> Botez in the big blind, jack nine off. Uh, I'll call. Well, I was too excited. If it wasn't there, I wouldn't have folded. <laughs> <laughs> Seems good so far. Botez is dominated. Queen oh. Jack nine. So second pair for O'Connor, two pair for Botez. 62% equity checks the action to O'Connor. O'Connor again with that snap check on the flop. I, I'm really concerned that that's going to become a major tell for him moving forward. And Botez leads the turn and gets raised. I don't think Botez is going anywhere with her bottom two. She's obviously got to be concerned about some combos like King-10, for example, flopping that straight, playing it slow. Maybe a hand like Queen-Jack, but I just don't think you're going anywhere when you've got this hand, especially given the fact that they missed the bet on the flop. And on the river, I expect it to go check-check, probably. Botez concerned. King-Jack obviously was showdown. Jack-9 is the best hand. Connor tabling, thinking he just has the best of it. But Botez is going to scoop this one. Everybody wants a piece. Botez family. calls in the small blind. Friend Strasser here, wants friend. a piece too. Queen five off. Keeping it friendly. <laughs> Going to a flop. Based oh, on currently the favorite. Okay. And it is Jack High. Another nice flop for Botez. Just going to lead, it looks like. Oh, oh. 2.7 in the middle. That's 700 as a lead into two players. Very unusual line. Besson with a little grin on his face. I always say when I don't understand what's going on, I fold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a good thing to live by. The good thing is if I don't understand what's going on, you, you can't you, either. Yeah. <laughs> Besson a little bit confused by that lead as well. So unconventional, but obviously you wanted aggression putting in a value bet. Thank you. Just no action from the other players. Maybe. <laughs> Call. Cool. So K opened the King 7 suited. Spielberg putting in the three bet and the cold call from Botez. So Yosef currently still has the best hand. Botez just liked how pretty King Queen was. And look at the flop! Flopping the absolute nut straight. However, Spielberg, Spielberg with the nut flush draw. This could cost Botez a lot of chips. This is ridiculous to flop the straight, but your opponent have nearly 40%. Yes, yeah, so there's 6.1K in the middle. Don't forget, this was a three bet pot. Botez leads for 2,000. I think it's a really easy call with the, uh, with the nut flush draw here. And obviously, an opportunity to improve very likely here. 10 of diamonds changes nothing. Botez still with the best of it. Now 10.1 in the middle. She goes for a quick half pot bet. He's got a pretty decent combo to put in another call, but he does make the fold. It was a little bit more pricey on the turn, would cost him a chunk. I Obviously, like Romanian still Romanian a chance to run into <laughs> some boats there, plan. for example. That's your plan. <laughs> well, she's in action again as Bason opens on the button with the Grafton 10 9 suited. Botez defending with Queen 10. Strasser falls in the big blind. I thought you were going to do all three. Kevin says, Hold wait, so raise. about 80 have already <laughs> busted. <laughs> yes, that's right. 907 <laughs> minus 895 is 80. Jack 10 8 on the flop. Wow, guys, Alexandra connects again. Second pair leading into two players again. We've seen this dynamic before. In the small blind, just leading into two opponents. And doing it with the best of it, too, again. But wait, Strasser with the fours. Wait. Putting in a raise. What is happening? What's going on? <laughs> Based on with middle pair and a straight draw, like I'm not even gonna get involved here. Strasser has picked a moment to really sell the bluff, but Botez is going absolutely nowhere. Makes the call with second pair queen kicker. 
Jack of Diamonds on the turn might give Alexandra more confidence. She did, in fact, call the turn, uh, the flop, excuse me, with the best hand. Check, check. Very quick check from Strasser. 7.9 in the middle. Alexandra bets yeah. 3,000. 3, I can see it from here, 3,000. And Strasser deciding whether to call or make another questionable raise. Wow. Oh, he's going to raise it. He's going to raise the river. Or is he just counting his stack? The blues are 5Ks. Raise. All right, putting in a raise. Call him. Oh, the Botez call here would be so sick. No shot clock in play until the start of day four. Can she find the hero call? Assert dominance on the table, Alexandra. She looks confused. Does make the fold, and Strasser pulls it off with the fours. The bluff gets through. Check the VOD for that one. <laughs> yeah. Nice hand. Thank you. Nice race. Botez now in the hijack with queen seven suited. And flops a gut shot here. 10, 8, 6, 1 diamond. So Connor opened. Sorry, Botez limped. Connor raised his button over the limp. I see what happened here now. And then Botez called again. Quite, un quite unconventional. Does find herself in a spot with tons of equity, though. 37%, not too shabby. And the opportunity to obviously to turn it into a bluff on later streets if she'd like. And some opportunities to pick up more equity on the turn, even if she doesn't make the gut shot. A diamond would be pretty spicy. No diamond, but it's the queen. That's the best hand now. Another great turn for Botez. And the board pairs the eight on the river. Two pair now for Botez. That looks like a 5K. 5,000. Is O'Connor considering a bluff? Uh, yeah, and a big one at that. That is no joke. Now, if she has, in fact, checked the VOD, Joe, this is very similar to a spot she just got bluffed off on a paired board. She's got a hand that can very commonly be the best hand, or very frequently be the best hand, I should say. Do you think that might play into her, her, uh, her decision-making here? Obviously, it will play into the decision making. It's just that you can sort of level yourself here to, well, he knows I checked the VOD. Would he really do this again? She and makes she the call. Does, in fact, call, snaps the bluff off, and that's going to be one of the bigger pots that we've seen at this feature table. Alexander Botez up over 100,000 in chips. Check, check, check. And we get another heart on the turn, which gives Strasser the nut flush draw. Yes, we spotted the heart check, Henry. That's 2,600, gets a fold from O'Connor. I should highlight, as well as having the heart draw, Strasser does currently have the best hand. And gets raised by Botes. <laughs> she just does not slow down. She has the wheel draw. And we know Strasser doesn't have a blocker because they're they're not real. <laughs> Strasser folds the draw, folds the best hand. Botez wins another one. Uh, it's just um, she is playing so well. I mean.